So far we have looked at uh, elements of the same type in series or parallel that is we considered series combinations of resistors or series combinations of uh, voltage sources and so on. But now what we will look at is series or parallel combinations of dissimilar elements. Now we will not do this for every combination, but we will do it for a few that have some interesting properties. Okay. So, first let us look at series combination of an element and a current source. That is, we can have any element it could be a resistor, inductor, voltage source okay. and in series with that we have a certain current I. Now, this is the combination I am considering. So, clearly if you connect this up to some circuit, we know that because of Kirchhoff's current law here, the current that is flowing through the whole circuit like this has to be equal to I. So, this means that the series combination of any element and a current source is exactly equivalent to a current source. Okay. So, if this current source has a value I, then obviously it means that a current I will be flowing from here to there and that is independent of uh, what is the voltage across this current source. Similarly, it will be independent of what is the voltage across this whole combination Okay, because the voltage across the whole combination is nothing but the voltage across the current source which can be anything plus the voltage across this element. So, the result is also a current source which forces a current I to flow in this direction regardless of the voltage across it. Okay, So, the series combination of a current source and any element including a voltage source is a current source. Okay, So, this means that if you have a voltage source and a current source in series. Okay, So, let us say this has some value V naught and this has some value I naught the whole thing is equivalent to a current source. This is a perfectly uh, legal connection. The voltage across the current source can be anything. The current through the voltage source will happen to be I naught. Similarly, we will consider a parallel combination of a voltage source and an element let us say this voltage source has a value V naught and we can connect any element across it. We know that across this we will have a voltage equals V naught and it will be regardless of what current is flowing through it, because the current through the voltage source can be anything and this current is nothing but the current through the voltage source and the current through the element, which can also be anything. Okay. So, the parallel combination of a voltage source and an element is just equivalent to the same voltage source okay, V naught. So, this element can be anything, it can be an it can be a resistor, it can be an inductor, it can be a capacitor. It can be a resistor, it can be a capacitor, it can be a 
current source okay so the parallel combination is just equivalent to a voltage source 